Hi, my name is Steve Boyko. I am starting a new model train layout called the Central Prairie Railway. And as part of that, I've taken inventory of all of the uh, HO scale railway cars and locomotives I have to see which ones are appropriate for the layout and maybe which ones are surplus to my needs. So without further ado, let's start the tour. I'm starting here at the end of a very long shelf run uh, so we'll walk through them uh, probably not every individual car but I will talk about some that have particular importance to me so at the back you can see I have a couple of cranes um, this yellow crane and this uh, Santa Fe maintenance uh, crane tender car uh, and this flat car here were all my dad's so I have changed the couplers on them to be KDs in some cases some cases they still have uh, they still have the horn hooks, so they have adapters at both ends. So I'll keep those because they were my father's from his layout uh, before he passed. Um, I have a couple auto racks, which I always like, and uh, a few flat cars. I tend to occasionally run some trailer and flat car uh, cars on my layout, so I have a few of those. Uh, a couple of miscellaneous uh, flat cars that I might may or may not uh, relabel, like this ATSF. And I have this one weird uh, Department of Defense car that I picked up somewhere that I'm going to keep because it's kind of weird and interesting. I'd love to have like a big uh, Schnabel kind of car, but I don't have one of those yet. Uh, I have a lot of these guys, these uh, lumber carrier cars. Uh, they're a bunch of Walters. I think I have four of those in CN. And then I have some of these center beam flat cars uh, in Sioux and CP. Uh, I like those cars, so I'll keep them and a few bulkhead flat cars too. These are just good general freight cars to have. Uh, over here, a bunch of different gondolas, mostly beat up, as gondolas usually are. Uh, some came with loads, which is nice. And uh, this one is a PC rail. I had to figure out how to get this foam thing in there because it out of there because it seems to be glued in. So uh, my railway will operate with cabooses, so I have several cabooses. And uh, here's uh, three. These are all like uh, Ather and Blue Box, I think. And um, this one was weathered by somebody else. Uh, a few more uh, uh, ballast cars. Um, as a prairie railway, of course, I need a lot of green hoppers. So first off, here's some ho covered hoppers, which are not green hoppers, but you know, cement cars or whatever. Uh, a few other hoppers in the back there. And then here's uh, the green fleet. So some of these uh, cars are um, far more detailed than others. And over the years, I've tried to um, get to more accurate and uh, finer detailed cars. Like, for example, these ones here. These are nice cars. You can see metal, uh, metal etched uh, walkways. Uh, compared to these model power kind of cars with the chunky plastic, they're a night and day difference in terms of quality. Um, but these guys fill in until I can get more of these guys, because these guys are expensive. And uh, nowadays with uh, a, a nice looking freight car costing 50 bucks a car, I'm not acquiring these very fast. So uh, I have a number of different ones, uh, you know, some Alberta cars and uh, Sioux, I like the Sioux line. So I've got some Sioux cars. I've got a few green box cars. None of these are really particularly accurate, but uh, I've got a couple of uh, CN green cars, a Buffalo box, CN man Manitoba, a couple of those. Uh, I thought I had a CP one, but I can't seem to find it. Uh, here's a Prairie Malt, which is really kind of an anachronism because it's a very modern car. Um, but anyway, and then I've got some weird ones like the NMRA Winnipeg Convention cars. There's one there and there's another one back here. So those are kind of keepsakes. Uh, not because I was here, but because they're, I live in Winnipeg. So there's the green fleet. There's a lot of them. And uh, as a green Paul, or, uh, I need a lot of them. Now the next one here is a bunch of intermodal cars, which are probably going to go straight into storage because I don't expect to be using any intermodal cars on my layout. Uh, so uh, I like intermodals. Uh, I certainly record a lot of them in my videos, as you see on my channel, but uh, they have no place in my layout, so they're going to uh, probably just go into storage. Tank cars. Uh, I like tank cars, and they're good on general freight. Um, so bunch of different ones especially I love this Irving one that a friend of mine made for me uh, he 
put the, all the decals on and it is a beautiful car. I really appreciate that. Uh, a bunch of box cars. Everybody needs box cars. Probably more box cars than I need. I do like real box cars, so you can see I have four of them, which is probably too many. Um, a couple of C bunch of CP cars, a bunch of CN cars over here. Uh, I see some gondolas, uh, ballast cars. So uh, every railway needs some maintenance away. Um, probably a few of these cars are going to be relettered when I get a logo for my uh, for my Central Prairie Railway. I am going to uh, probably relitter some of these and uh, use them as you know, like patch them maybe, and use them for my uh, short line, fictitious short line. Uh, again, cabooses. Uh, so there's some CN cabooses here. This is one. This blue and white one here. Uh, is lettered for NSER, which is my first real layout, Nova Scotia Eastern Railway. Uh, it's a terrible model, but um, it has sentimental value. Uh, this is a, a, a re-lettered CP caboose as NB Southern, and this is a Rapido uh, NB Southern caboose, which you can see, you know, besides the dust on it, it is a much better model. Um, and a few other box cars of various things. This little outhouse on rails it was my dad's so i'll keep that uh speaking of my dad's this little section here are all cars that were on my dad's layout so um he was a model railroader even before i was born uh everywhere we went we we carried around a trunk a uh, wooden box that i have now that uh, was full of model equipment ho and n scale uh, my son, my oldest son, has uh, has the N scale stuff, and I inherited the H O scale stuff. Most of which I honestly sold because it wasn't. Uh, I'm not that sentimental that I keep everything, but uh, I kept some of the, the really interesting pieces. Uh, so there's some B R R Boyko Railroad letter cabooses that I've kept, as well as a rotary snowplow and a couple of locomotives. This one here actually does run, or did run several years ago when I last tried it. Um, anyway, so uh, they'll never run on my layout, I don't think, because they're all TC and would be really hard to convert to TCC, but uh, they're nice to have. Honor my dad's memory. Uh, Alright, passenger cars. Again, these are going to go straight into storage because there's no use for them except maybe like a charter run or something on my new layout. So we've got a bunch of Walthers, uh, cars, a couple of Rapidos. This one here I got at a train train uh, meet and this one was a gift a um, couple of uh, kind of crappy uh, to be honest uh, click concord kind of cars that are uh, that are just part of my fleet just because this is an RDC that was my dad's BRR for Boyko Railroad uh, I think this one was his too but there's no motor in it it's just empty so I don't know if I, I may not keep that one this is a passenger car from the Nova Scotia Eastern Railway. Only a few letters are still on. Uh, this one is something my son was interested in when he was very young. So uh, it's currently in my possession. We'll have to get it to him at some point. And uh, that's basically the passenger fleet, which is all going to go into storage. And then the locomotive fleet. And not all of these are going to operate on my new layout, I don't think. So this is the active fleet here of locomotives that I will keep. Um, this one here was my dad's, uh, and uh, it's a pretty good runner, probably the best runner he had in his, his fleet. Uh, this one I bought from a good friend of mine who uh, did a really nice job weathering it, and it's a great runner. That will probably be one of the mainstays of the Central Prairie Railroad, since it's the least locomotive. Uh, this one is kind of a weird Fubi. Uh, it's a Via um, Jeep, and that never existed, but it... It's interesting. Uh, this is this is a CP dummy, SD40 dummy, uh, BC Rail RDC, which is going to go into storage. Uh, an SD70 here, and uh, a lifelike, not a Rapido RS18, but a lifelike RS18. Uh, and, uh, Via is going to go into storage. This is a Cato uh, SD40 that I just bought, but I haven't put a decoder in yet. And then the CP fleet, a uh, bunch of MLL, MLW power, as well as an SD40 in the back. So uh, these Bowsers are fantastic locomotives. I love them. And uh, 
So that'll run, probably run on the new layout, although I don't have a whole lot of CPU or CN, just interchange stuff and uh, Jeep and and uh, it's an SD40. So that is my locomotive fleet. Uh, they're all DCC except for the dummy here, of course, and the Caddo that doesn't have a decoder in it yet, but it will. So finally, over here on the back wall are the, everything I'm getting rid of. So there's a collection of um, locomotives here, some of which are DC only, like the ones in the back, which are.